That shit was dope, Leon. Thank you, sir. You know what? My management team is actually from South Central, and a lot of people say LA people is phony, and there's some real niggas out there. It just might right. mean you're a phony nigga. Right. You attracted some more phony niggas. That's what it is. He was honest, and he said the same thing I see you saying, bartending all the time. That shit's not easy, and everybody bombs. And like everybody. even even me with music, bro. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I know you always give me me props for for working with different people, and I don't have the biggest of songs, but you know what? I respect that people like Kanye and Teddy Riley let me in their room. Yeah, nigga, nigga, I'm. It's it's a dream to be in their room, bro. And it take a lot. It take a lot to get in their room. See, people don't understand the work it takes to even be in the same room with them cats. <laughs> so exactly. just getting in the room with them cats means you work to a certain level. And I think a lot of people confuse elevation for acting fun. Listen. Exactly. I got a lot of homies that I love, man, from my old neighborhood, uh, homies that I currently rock with, but sure. I can only rock with them to a certain level. Because right. at the end of the day, what I'm trying to do and what they're trying to do, they're okay with being right here. It's I'm different. trying to get here. So if you're not trying to get here, then you don't understand the logic. You don't and understand the, and, the thought process. And, and, the, so and you, the politics. You know what, man, I commend you, like, I remember when I first got my deal and you was at the other station and you heard, hosted the in-store when I was with Legit Ballers. And it's like, man, to see you grow, to see you have a show, it's like nobody can ever be in my presence and say you didn't work for it. Right. Because right. I've seen you work your ass off for and it. That, you know and what that's what I mean? Like the same thing. I know a lot of comics like, people see comics like Lil Rel, people see comics like Dion Cole, people see comics right. like D-Ray Davis and be like their overnight successes. No, these dudes have been working their ass off, and when yeah. the when the opportunity came, they was ready, and they ran through that door. And they killed it. You know what? Yeah. I remember Dion Cole coming on Madison to interview Legit Ballers. It was a fucking snow blizzard, and he did the interview. I remember seeing D. Ray. I remember seeing Michael Jordan look like the Jordan thing just came out. I was in. Michael Jordan at the Dragon Room, bro. So it's like, it's been years of the circle of people that's popping right now that people, that we all been bumping into. Bruh, I love